Hi, my name's Nicole with So Much More. Are you sewing in a dark or dimly lit room? Do you wish you could brighten up your creative space and relieve all of that stress on your eyes? I know exactly what that can be like. I've put together seven tips to help brighten your sewing space. These are practical ideas that can make an immediate difference in your sewing room. Let's take a look. Natural light is super helpful. Using natural light is one of the easiest ways to brighten up a room. You can have the sun shine even brighter in your room when your windows are clean. Yes, I know, this one seems a tad obvious, but simply cleaning your windows can have a major effect on how much sunlight streams into the room. The less dirt and dust on your windows, the more sunshine can peek into your room. Washing windows isn't my favorite chore, but this can make a difference. Consider changing to a lighter shade of window treatment. I use white blinds in my window and this works well to reflect light through the room. What a difference. Choosing the correct wall color is important. Since light is easily reflected, it's recommended to have very light or even white walls in your sewing space. The lighter the color of your walls, the more light they reflect. There are tons of choices for flooring, but when a space is in need of additional light, it's best to choose light wood or lighter colored carpet to brighten up the room. If changing out the carpet or flooring is not in your immediate budget, consider adding a large white or cream colored area rug. Having a white ceiling is another way to maximize the light in your room. Although my ceiling is packed full of video equipment, I use white PVC pipes in brackets. To learn more about my ceiling setup, check out the link in the description of this video. A simple thing like changing your light bulb can make an instant and amazing difference. The difference between daylight bulbs and soft white bulbs is simply remarkable. I recommend using daylight bulbs for your sewing studio. These are the white lights that really brighten your sewing space. Another great thing about daylight bulbs is that they don't emit heat. We all know how warm it can get in a sewing room. I mean, that iron isn't cool and it can really heat up a space. So don't add to the hot box by using soft white bulbs. We all love to showcase our work by hanging up our mini quilts. All these colorful pieces can absorb the light in the room. Take a look at the difference when I remove this wall hanging and change to a minimalistic decor. I have my office in my sewing room. Look at the difference when I switch to minimalism. The space has definitely brightened. I did leave a single mini quilt on the wall, but I'll keep my other mini quilts handy so that I can change them out on rotation. And let's face it, we all have a lot of stuff. Take a look at my space before I switched to minimalism, and now it's so much brighter. I just love my Slimline 3 table lamp. I have this clamped on the side of my sewing table. My light illuminates my sewing space, and because it has a swivel base, I can swing it around to my ironing board as well. This lamp has two flexible joints so I can position it in the perfect place for my task. My Slimline 3 has four different brightness levels. I use the lower setting for sewing during the daytime and crank up the brightness for the evening sewing and quilting. And because I'm a Daylight brand ambassador, I can offer you my coupon code for 20% off your purchase. Just head over to the Daylight Company website and get your Slimline 3 today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you can take some of these ideas and use them right away. I would love to know in the comments which idea you liked best. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
If you sign up for notifications, you'll be the first to know about my next video. If you want more DIY, go to the link in the description and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Each week, I send you inspiration directly to your inbox. For more tutorials, head over to my website and Facebook group, where there is always so much more in store.